women's colleges and prisons, prisons and women's colleges. Until the 1970s and with several subsequent interventions in reality, we fought to escape from these places of lesbian damnation. Inside, guarded by fearsome guardians, in the male-free void known to be unbeatable and adversarial, love stories between women have started to colonize the imagination. Two versions of Boys in Uniform, the 1931 one directed by Leontine Sagan, and the 1958 one with Romy Schneider, directed by Giza von Radvani, both based on the play by Krista Winslow. Olivia, 1951, by Jacqueline Audrey, based on the novel by Dorothy Strachey, those two from 1961, directed by William Wyler, an adaptation of the play The Children's Hour by Lillian Hellman. Books, plays, movies, all in girls' colleges where lesbian desire was seen as a condemnation to be atoned for, impossible to live with pleasure and will. How can one enjoy a perversion, I'm guilty, Shirley MacLaine screams, broken down by the weight of lesbian ignominy in those two. Exception though, if not in ending, we know we still have to wait long time for long-awaited happy ending, at least in development. Where there was shame, pleasure takes its place, where despair is enjoyment, and this exception is Teresa and Isabella, the novel by Violette Le Duc published, even if in a censored version, in 1966, and brought to the screen in 1968 by Radley Metzger. So we go back to school in this episode of Reno 1959, in a French girls' college with Therese Isabel, two teenagers to whom Violette Le Duc's very autobiographical writing offers an unexpected opportunity to tell female and lesbian desire. 